With a lot going on about promoting and encouraging local production to boost Nigeria's economy and create jobs, this episode captures the creativity in arts and crafts, mostly of women who are deliberate about being exceptional in what they do. Today we see a young lady taking the front line of her clearly defined crafts and initiatives. What do you do? Okay, my name is Nkere Modi, and I'm a graduate, graduated from the University of Benin, studied accounting in school, and then now I'm a cobbler. A cobbler. Let what led to that? A female <laughs> shoemaker. <laughs> yeah, female shoemaker. <laughs> what led to that? Why did you choose to go there? Okay, I didn't choose to go into shoemaking, but you know, after school, the stress and everything, getting a job, not getting a job and all that. So I had to, you know, I had to think about what I could do to get myself, to keep me going. It wasn't about, I wasn't even thinking about making shoes, I was thinking about buying and selling. Mm -hmm. So I actually um, talked to some people about it and just one person convinced me to go and, to go into shoemaking. So I thought about it and then after my first production, that's the first ever sandal I made, mm -hmm. I fell in love with it and I was like, whoa. Mm. That's how. Yeah, well, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. And um, the finances, was it easy getting a... It wasn't really easy. It wasn't really, I could remember then, had to starve, had to, you know, ask for loan one or so two. So do you need a lot of capital to start that? Not really, I started with 90,000 naira. Okay. But it wasn't really enough, but it was able to get me 13 pairs of... Okay. male and female slippers and sandals. Mm. That was my first production. But it wasn't as, as if I used the 90,000 Naira just for that, because I had to register my business name and all that. Okay. With using the 90,000, get materials to produce. Is to it easy to market it? Were you able to ready? It wasn't really easy, but I could then, I, put, I, I had to start with the family, okay. the in-house family, you know. Yeah. I had to make for my dad, my brothers, my brother's friends. Mm -hmm. Then on my way back to, I was going back to ABJ. I know I was carrying some in the, um, with me. So I had to advertise in the bus and all that. It wasn't really easy to convince mm -hmm. people that you actually make things here. But the comments I got encouraged me. They didn't look down on it because they could not even tell the difference. So that was a plus on my side. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And your family encouraged you? Yes, yeah. they are all in support. No yeah. one is against it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the show. Oh.